Uh, I was trained as a book illustrator. I did six years. I, I was actually a little bit tired after art college and I did the whole ski hill thing, but I was still drawing and uh, doing personal work. And then my first real project illustrating was in 2001. And that's when I would say that things started to grow for me. I just can't really believe that this is my life, that I get to travel to places that I love, pitch these ideas to the publisher, that they say, sure. <laughs> for me, actually, a lot of my story comes first as pictures. I see the pictures before I see or have the storyline sometimes. So it's not a zen moment, but I get into these zones and I do it on my days off. I find it really hard to do it after a day of work. Um, but uh, 14 hours can go by in the art cave and I forget to eat. <laughs> Nupsi and Lhotse uh, in Nepal was based on, I got the idea when I was traveling to Nepal. So when I came back, I started working on this and now I do actually have cats named Nupsi and Lhotse. That's so this weird. one has just come out. It's the Rocky Mountain ABCs, which is a little board book. It was a bit of a challenge. Yeah, this was the first page that that came to me and it just came in a flash. I could see the image of, these are actually the three sisters in my town, Canmore. And it was the tone of the sentence that it didn't have to be a full sentence. It could just be a, like almost like a little lyrical line. M, moon over mountain. The next one is of Rocky Mountain 123. And I've just been uh, commissioned to do the next of the Nupsi and Lhotse series, which is going to be Nupsi and Lhotse go to the West Coast. When I'm stuck in the parts of the story, I actually do get my cats just to start talking to each other. And I let them write pages and pages. They often take over the story. And, uh, and then I know I've, I've found the storyline. When they take over, that's, that's when the real magic <laughs> happens.